So we're here at the, Washington, the federal courthouse in Washington where a U.S. magistrate has jailed a woman who was accused of being a covert Russian agent. Uh, the woman, Maria Bettina, appeared here uh, before U.S. Magistrate Deborah Robinson, um, and she was arguing that she was not a flight risk and would not flee the country, uh, but the judge disagreed based on evidence that was presented by the federal prosecutors, saying that if she uh, was to get into a diplomatic uh, facility, into an embassy or to a car, um, that, it's, that the U.S. authorities would have no reason for her, uh, no ability to be able to stop her from uh, fleeing the country. Uh, of course, she's uh, accused of uh, operating here in the United States for years as uh, a covert agent uh, who, using her ties to gun rights organizations including the National Rifle Association uh, to gather intelligence for the Russian government on U.S. political figures and U.S. politicians um, and political organizations. Um, her attorney Robert Driscoll actually uh, has dismissed these charges and said they were overblown and said that she is not uh, an agent of, of Russia. Um, but today, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing the judge heard some of the evidence that was against her um, and decided that there were no conditions that she could place upon her uh, to keep to make sure that she would show up for court. Um, now, the significance of this case is that um, this is uh, one of the most recent cases that we've seen uh, that accuses a Russian agent of being operating during uh, the, the 2016 election. Now, it's, it's clear to note that she was not, the, the charges were not brought by special counsel Robert Mueller. This does not, uh, at this point, have any tie to allegations of Russian election interference. Um, but what this case does show is that uh, prosecutors say that she was uh, sent here uh, on behalf of a, a Kremlin official to gather intelligence on uh, American political institutions and in particular use her ties to gun rights organizations including the NRA uh, to uh, make friends and contacts with U.S. politicians uh, with the intent of conveying that information back to Moscow.